Alrighty, welcome back. We appreciate you coming back, that's for sure. Uh, we, have, we have the car looking exactly the way we want it to look. Um, we've got the other piece welded in the other side. Very happy with that. That went so well yesterday. You know, within 15, 20 minutes, I've been, I was able to roll out and make my piece for the other side to make me happy. That went fantastic. Uh, that, that can take days sometimes, I guess, if you, if you want to, you know, spend that much time at it. But it was good enough for me. It went well. It's got a nice shape to it. I'm going to bring Jolene over and show you what it looks like. But just a second. We've got a, just a second, Jolene. Jolene's looking amazing today, as always. We have the car looking the way it looks, but there's still lots of stuff that has to be accomplished, like the top of the doors here. I have a roll on here. We just cut them, hacked them off. Well, hack them off. We cut them off with a zip cut and a grinder and whatever we had to do to get them off. But they have to be finished off to make it look or give it that finished look. And this is the reason we don't throw away pieces. We got all the pieces over there that we cut off the car. We don't throw any pieces away because we might need something. And that shape right there, that little roll there, I think I can find over there in the junk pile. Before we go there, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to, you know, make the top of the door look like something, finish it off so it does look like we have to do the front and the back. Don't know if we're going to get them both done or not, but that hasn't got a roll there anymore. We want to make a nice roll there and continue it along so it finishes it off. And sometimes that can be some of the hardest stuff to get accomplished, but that's what I'm going to go for. I said to Jolene, I don't even know what I'm really going to do there yet. She said, well, that's, that's part of the video, to watch you think. <laughs> I said, baby, I might sink. But anyways, she said, if you don't think, you will sink. So here we're, this is what we're doing. I just want to show you what we did yesterday. We got the piece put on, had it tacked on. I just want to show you what it looks like, weld it and not touched. You know, that's, we, we've got this welded back together. We butt welded that. We overlapped it and then we zip cut it and we butted it back together. This is the gap that we had that from this piece of metal to this quarter panel. That's a lot of welding. Just doing, I'm just doing that just to show you that's a lot of welding to not warp that. And we did not warp that. We used an air hose and we just, we used an air hose. We welded a little bit and then we blew it off. Got it not so it was hot. This is the, the gap where the exhaust pipe on this piece, the exhaust pipe was used for structural and shape. Uh, we got the piece in the back here that, that went amazing. It's went amazing. I'm very happy with it. The assen of the car looks I'm very happy with it. We we ha we have a mouse in the house, and it's and it, I don't know if Fina give it a give it a little love bite or a little love tap or what, but it's doing an awful lot of squeaking. But anyways, that's what they do, so we won't we won't concern ourselves. Everybody's got to have to have a place to stay in the wintertime, obviously, and we got a shitload of snow the last couple days. Uh, we were thinking about trying to get the 47 and just take a get that chassis. I'd like to have that chassis because I plucked this car off. And I try to pluck it down on top of that chassis, but there's no there's no chance of that. We're, we are in the garage. We are stuck here. Um, that's what's going on. Fina's aware. She hears the mouse in the house or the garage. Uh, she'll probably come playing with it here in a bit. But what I'm going to do right now is, is I'm going to try to fix this. I'm going over here and grab a couple pieces. I have I have this piece here. That is the post. It's got that shape, it's got the post. I've got this piece here. That is the part of the roof. That's part of the roof. And I've got these pieces here. So I've got two of everything. I've got two of that. I've got two of these, because there's one on each side, and I've got two of these. These are the top of the doors. I'm just gonna come over here and take a look. We're gonna take a look. And that shape right there, that little bend rollover there, that's what I want. I've got you can see how it's bigger here, and then it gets smaller. So, and we're gonna have to maybe run that back a little bit. So if we just, I don't know, basically I don't know yet, I don't know, like Jolene said, this is where, you know, this is where, you know, stuff happens. Where I see that line, this is where the, where the line is, where it's bent across there. And basically that's where I'm thinking that I would weld that piece on, because it's on that line. And when I look at this piece right here, looks good enough and I can see the highest part of the edge is right here on that I'm just kind of eyeing it up like you would do or I would think you would do that um, that's what I'm seeing so what I'm gonna do is is I'm just gonna cut a piece of this out 
and I'm going to cut that down a little bit and we're going to see if we can fit that in there. You can see how it's wider here, it's wider there than it is right there. And so it finishes off smaller. We've got a smaller piece here, that's for sure. And that might be just the piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece out of that. Fina's, Fina's all hot and bothered about this mouse. And uh, we'll see what happens. Go lay down, Fina. The mouse will come out after a bit, and you can get to play with it after a bit. You can play with the mouse in a minute. There you go. I know this is not the time to get some rubs right now. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix the door. I gotta fix the door. All right, you go get the mouse. You go get the mouse, and I'll play with you in a bit. Oh, she's happy. There's a mouse in the house. So I'm just gonna take this cord. I'm gonna cut a piece out of this. I'm gonna cut a bigger piece than I need. Just like in life, take more than you need. Oh, always, eh? <laughs> That's the way it goes. So we're just gonna take and cut this out. just want that shape that's basically all I want and I'm glad I kept that turned down because I might even use that too you can see how we can put that on there just want to stand back and take a look as I'm looking at this I can see a little turn up on that don't not, do not want that do not want that turn up on that I'm gonna cut that off and just gonna cut that turn up off. Turn up, <laughs> turn, turn down. Hope I didn't make it too short, but I did not want that. As you can see, to me, I guess. Okay, I'm just thinking that might have been bigger there than. If I slid that down over top of that, the door, we can round that door off. We can round that piece there off after we can. There's a sharp piece right there where the door folds over and has a lip there. We can roll that down, weld a little piece going around this maybe. You have to get creative when it comes to this sort of stuff. It looks to me like this end is bigger than this end. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'll save that for the other side. I'm gonna grab the other one. Is that the door? It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I'm going to grab the other door top. Door piece. Oh, sorry, Fina. I didn't want to bother you too much. I very well could make a piece for that, but to make to make a piece when I can just grab a piece off of what we got going on here, where's the door top at? Is that the door top? Nope, oh, that's not what I want. I want the piece. That's the post. It's making a lot of noise, I know. That's where I said, don't throw things away. Did I leave the other door? The other door top, that's a door piece. I know I had the door piece. I know I didn't throw it away or I didn't use it, did I? I don't see it there for some reason. Why do I not see it there? Do you see it, sweetheart? There it is. 
I was getting confused for a second I was all right I'm gonna cut this one it's just the door top for this side very much what it is that's maybe why we'll use the piece that we're using I'm gonna cut the exact same piece it again we'll save that piece we don't want to lose it that's for sure Alrighty. yeah I haven't got no turn up on that that doesn't look bad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to set that down in there let's cut it let's cut this piece here we're going to cut this one and we'll get that metal out of there and then we'll cut this piece to fit. That's what we'll do. Instead of taking away from that, leave that right there for a minute. Nope. Where am I going to put that? Right there. Move that in my feet. The other piece, I put that right there so I don't want to hide that on myself. Get out of there. Look at that now what I did. Throw that up there so we know where it's at. Get my marker. Geez, I'm in a bunch of mess today, aren't I? All right. Cut that down a little bit, didn't I? with my line this is stuff that has to be done okay now I've got that in there that like that it doesn't look bad it doesn't look the greatest either I cut that off I got a line there I'm just going by I'm just we'll cut that off see what we got going we've got more round stock if we need it I'm hoping that we don't but we'll see what happens wonder if I should cut that out of there probably should I've got this inside piece here there's some channel in there and that channel will probably end up that channel will end up leaving there's a piece right here connected for the inside of this part for the window come up in there's a channel there I would say where the old window used to be because this door top is quite thick if you know when it comes time for windows and that sort of stuff this is this is my plan in my brain is I would run square stock like Elvis has on its windows. Elvis has square stock uh, on the windows. What's that? I don't know. Uh oh, we got a big mouse in the house. We got square stock. We might as well go over and take a look. That was Fina. We got square stock on on Elvis that I've three quarter inch. I think it's three quarter inch square stock that I've cut the set one piece out that the window in the and the window can fit into. That's basically what I would do on the top of the doors of this. I would take square stock like that. I've got the back windows made. I'll bend it, I'll bend it to this shape. And then I would run square stock down inside the window. So that gives me the channel. And then the stuff that goes inside of it would be this stuff. The stuff fits right inside of that three-quarter inch square stock it's where your window slides into 
It's got the chrome edges. It's got your, I don't know what you call that, your, your fur, your window, window fur, I guess. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, anyways, that would fit inside your square stock. So as you run a straight piece down inside there, a, a piece that fits up in here, and you would cut that out, and then your window would slide up inside of that. So your window would, window top would be right here. Then there would be a lacing on the inside when you weld, when you cap this off, or this will have to be capped off here all the way down, capped off on this side. So when your door shuts, you'll have a three quarter inch square stock on the top of the door with it cut out, one side of it cut out so the window goes inside of it with that felt, with that felt in it, window felt. Your window would go down in here, the square stock would be welded down inside your door so your window was going to fit up inside of that. How you make it go up and down, that's your choice. You can make it electric, you can make the window winder try to work, you can do whatever you want to do. But that's my plan, is to do it at a square stock. And I can bend this shape at a square stock. On this part where it's capped off, there can be, a, when you put your interior in, there can be a lacing that goes on there. I guess they'd call that piping. You can put some piping on there for whatever. But that's basically my plan. I'm going to cut this out. I get, and that's the part of customizing, you know, you do what you got to do to get it done. Well, that's what I generally do. I do what I got to do. That way there, nothing holds you back. Nothing. Nothing holds you back. I got to get that piece out. Take a piece of channel line on there. So I sort of got the windows thawed out. It's just a matter of doing it. Or I have a plan, how's that? And when the plan, when, it, when I start to do the plan and uh, something doesn't work out, well then you just carry on, do it, do, it, do it another way. Do something to make the plan work. Just like me, me trying to get this out of here. Not ready to cut the doors open on this yet. So I'm just gonna try to wind this off the best I can. Don't wanna cut the door. Come on now. There we go. There we go. Now, see there's the channel that was would hold the window before. That's the channel. Just the exact same thing as three quarter inch stock. That's basically what's going on there. But mine's gonna come back here now. You know, that's where the where we're gonna come down with the window. It's not gonna be up front because we had this big post going up here before. We're cutting it right there on the floor. Now what I gotta do is try to make the top of this door like it like it should have been that's basically all i'm doing is i'm trying to make the top of the door look like it could have been that way and uh that's what we're going to do hmm. cut that one long Just gonna, i'm going to slice it off on this side and jam that down in there See what's going on here. So it's a little bit long, so instead of me doing that, I'm just going to slice some off this right here and see if I can get it down in there. See what happens. I'm going to slice them off this side and slide it down in there. down in there and look right I'm gonna take some off here off this angle here There we go. 
Just want to see if I get this line right now. It's not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, now. I want that in there further. This right here, on, the, on this top of this door, this is going straight. It's not allowing my piece. You can see my piece right here, right there. I want that to, I want that to come out straight. It's not allowing that to go in far enough. So what I'm going to do is... I want to go in there a little bit further. Let's take some more off that, I guess. Cut this off. I'm going to try to set it in there, see what happens. I need that finger when I'm trying to cut off. I need that finger, don't it, baby? Yeah. When I'm trying to cut off there, I need that. So now, let's get that in there if we can. All right, not bad. I need to flatten this out a little bit. This has got a little too much roll on it. I want to flatten it out a bit. I want to flatten it out a little bit. So I'm going to get a hammer. Uh, my hammer. Did I put that away, did I? Nope, it's right there. I'm not going anywhere. So I just want to flatten this out a little bit. I'm just going to use anything. Anything? <laughs> what, baby? What? Um, I don't want to bend my lip. I think this one's going to work better. That's what I do. I usually go anywhere to get done what I need to get done. And this little thing here is going to help me flatten it out. that now it's perfect actually putting it on that perfect perfect see how I flatten that out now I got it now I got it in there now what I think what I want to do is this is what I'm going to do I'm going to tack this one inch I got it flattened out it's fitting really nice now and then I'm going to run the zip cut blade through there And then we'll butt that together. So I'm going to run that in there. I've got that sitting on there. Just want to take a look. Doors running. This, run, this is running up a little bit. Don't know if I want it to run up or down. You can see right here. I just don't want it to. You know, I want it to run flat if possible. Just take a little bit more off that because I can always fill it in if I have to. After we get tacked on, we'll run a zip cut blade through it, and then we'll make it fit. Alrighty. Let's turn this on.
ran out of wire yesterday. I was playing with the car, ran out of wire, went down the house, and ah, I ran out of wire. Couldn't go to town because we had too, so much snow. We couldn't get out of the do dooryard, out of the driveway. And uh, this morning I come up and found a small little tiny roll that came with the Lincoln welder, and I stuck her in there, man. I got found some wire right on. Ah, uh, if that if that wasn't uh, that wasn't lucky, I don't know what you call it being lucky is. So we found some wire and welded up the other side there, which was good. So this is what's going on here. We got a little piece from the top of the door, or from the door post itself. It's got the right shape, so I'm going with it. I'm going to tack it inside there because it, it matches up nice. It's like my face and my ass. It's a match! Oh, sorry, sweetheart. I'm just going to hit that again because I knocked a hole. Alrighty. I see that. Also, I want that going straight. I'm going to tack that right there. Yeah, I'm just going to take it back and take a look at it. To me, it looks like it's running up a little bit. This line straight, that's good. Not bad. I don't mind it. All right. I think I like it. I think I like it. Now, actually, I can push it down a little bit. I'm going to get a welding rod. I had one over here. I thought I did. did on we, the trunk. It's on the trunk. Coat hanger, sorry. Coat hanger. I burn a hole through the top there. I just want to fill that full. And all I'm using this for is material. All right, just like that. Fix the hole that, you know, um, wasn't acceptable. All righty. That hasn't been welded in there yet, so that can come down if it wants to when I open the door up. But what I'm, go what I'm going to do right this pre present moment is I'm going to cut that, and then we're going to butt that. And basically, I find that the easiest way because you can get the best fit. You know, it's, it's so hard to make something, you know, fit um, to butt it up and easier just to cut it, you know, to, and make it fit together as you cut it. And I'm going to run the grinder with the piece that we're putting in. nice right there so I'm gonna well, just give her a spot basically what I initially always hit that first spot is to actually see what's going on that's basically all I do that for when I first hit it kind of get spot and just let off and just basically see what's going on just trying to make it fit the best I can if it's really nice I'm gonna do the exact same thing just And it puts a little puddle on the end of your wire, so when you hit it, you're not exactly just going through it. Now, you can see right here, you can see right there that it's cut down. I got that square piece going on. Well, in my, in my brain, it's telling me to put a little bit of coat hanger in there and then I can grind that off to shape. But if I fill that in with the coat hanger there, 
Watch your eyeballs here. I need some air. Should have been, should have had the air, but it did not. Now, when, when it comes time, I would run a little bit more weld in there. I got a piece back there, I got a weld when I open the door up to weld this back here. And then I'd weld that, weld that across there and I would run some weld around the door so when the door shuts it fits around the roof and then grind that down. I'm gonna leave that, but that's basically what I'll do is I'll weld around there and bring it right around the roof and then square it and, and just feather it off so the door shuts It'll come around and have that shape. I can, it's pretty hard for me to round the top of this off into the, into the car. So I'll, I'll what, what does it call that? I'll manipulate it and make it look like it's round here. So I'll round this part when I weld along here. I'll put a little coat hanger in there, cut this off a little bit further, and we'll just make it round there. Basically what I'm gonna do, just checking my finger and see if that's right for putting a little, weld in there put a little coat hanger in there let's put a little coat hanger in there and i got the wire i got the the heat right beside or the air right beside me so i don't want the heat on it had a gap, a gap there and I didn't want to bust through. Now if, you, if you're welding along there and you get that old thing caught in there, I didn't, I didn't get it caught in there, I just, just left it there, but you just break it off and, and start again. And that material will be there when you get back. Don't want anything getting hot. Don't want anything getting hot. I'm just going to tack it so it can't move. We'll buff this up and make it look like something so you can tell what's going on. In the right spot. All the coat hangers for is material. And the air is to make it not warp. You can tell that it's very thin how I'm burning through. I got my welder turned up quite high. I don't mind it high, just I like the heat generally. Just gathering some weld up here. That's all I'm doing up here is gathering some weld to give me something to grind to make it look good. Basically. Without the wire here, I think. That's why I'm saying, like, you know, I'm buttoning this together. You really have to, you know, before I grind all that weld off, you really have to make sure that you have penetrated uh, the metal completely. I know I'm penetrating there because I'm burning through. So 
But where I welded that like that, where the metal is close together, do not know if I'm all the way penetrating through or not. right there I want to get. A little more weld on it. This looks like it lifted up a little bit on me. That's fine because I'm going to be able to take the hammer and, and push it back down. This line here is straight so I'm good. This is just lifting up on me from the heat. From the heat. I'm just going to go up here and fill the rest of the seat. You can see that it's lifted up off there with your camera. I can push it on it and move it. Mm -hmm. so. I like the redness to go away before I hit it again. And there I don't burn through. want to prove something. No heat whatsoever. That's just as cold as a cucumber. No heat whatsoever. No warpage, no nothing. That's just as nice. Not as nice as Jolene, but it's nice. Just want to keep the air close by. Got another little spot to grab there. Now, as I have that on there, you can see how I can bring this around. I'm just talking about bringing this down around. I'll, I'll cut this down a little bit, probably, and make it come down around and not have that sharp edge on there. So I'd probably do this to it. I'm not going to probably, I might do it right in a second, but I'm probably going to do this to it. Trying to come around and then down like that. And that way there, I can make this look like it's manipulated, like it's fitting that roof. That's what I would do there, just to make it look better. Now let's take a little grinder, zip cut. Not much for the little tools. Uh, I like getting it done quickly. So I generally just grab the big tools. And what I mean by the big tools is the mini grinder. I try not, I got a few smaller tools, let's face it. The smaller tools are for finer work. Yes, they are. But I basically just stick to a couple tools and try to get it done.
The zip cut is not the grinder for probably doing this. It's probably not. Um, you really have to be careful with that. That's why I try to keep my face out of the way. Um, you start taking, the, start angling it and pushing on it. Yes, you're going to end up having a problem. You're bending it and twisting that stuff. But I like to use that edge on that well because I can really pinpoint where I'm grinding. You can tell I'm not hitting nothing of the door. I'm not hitting this part. I'm not hitting that part. I'm not hitting any of it. But you really have to pay attention and keep your face out of the way in case something happens, obviously. Um, but I do like using the zip cut to grind this sort of stuff because I'm able to pinpoint exactly where I'm grinding and it doesn't take me a whole bunch of time. I do not want to take a bunch of metal away from this and a bunch of metal away from that because then I have not much. And when I put more metal on there than I need, like when I take the coat hanger, like on the other side, you see there, it's puddled up there quite heavy, but when I put that metal on there, at least it gives me something to grind and shape. I got that cut. I don't want to cut the car, but you can see how I've got that cut down now. Now what I would do is just take the take the welder, weld on top of that, and make a nice make it round in there and weld it round. That would be the edge of the door. I'll take a little more off. And also, as I use the zip cut, and I used a couple grinders, I'm not running for a bunch of different tools. Just got, I got a couple tools, and I, and I use what I have. So I use the zip cut a lot, obviously. And then we have the flapper wheel. I'm just going to try to hold this, hold this flapper wheel on where the, I've welded it and try to make it look the best it can, sand it down the best it can without hitting the car. <laughs> you can do it if you pay attention. There's the small stuff that'll get you every time, slows you down, the small stuff.
Brady, there's a piece out of something else to fix what we had to do. And uh, I, didn't, I don't want to take it any further than that. I can. I don't feel like there's any need. I feel a little edge there. I know that I've penetrated. I haven't warped anything. Everything feels fantastic. I kept the air to it. Probably the grinder got it hotter than the... No, it's all good. What, what's the time? 46. 46. Do you want to give a hat and sure? you want to go for another one? It's up to you. Well, basically, that's what's going on. We'll just we'll cut her shy today. Um, that's basically what I got to do is I got to take some small pieces of this and then apply them in the doors. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Whatever piece I need, I'll pluck it in there. I got another piece I'm going to need up in front here, obviously. Not sure it would be best to do that one when the doors open. But we got another one on the other side to do. You come back tomorrow. I think we just got our, our plow tractor just left. We got our snow moved. You come back tomorrow. And I will show you an easy way to make wheel wells. Like the, the, this wheel well to me is toast. I'd rather just make a whole new one and be done with it. But now you come back tomorrow, I'll just show an easy way to how I make them. And I'll make it and I'll show you tomorrow. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Jolene's doing excellent on Jet Setter. I want to let everybody know and thank everybody very much for the votes and the, and, and the comments. We appreciate it. We really do. And... Uh, Thank you very much. And I think Jolene would like to thank you. Yes. And you can see on the quarter panel, as we showed in the first of the video, the welding does not look that great at first. I like, you know, it does not look that great. I have put on more, probably more weld than I need. But the fact of the matter is, if I do not have the weld there, well, then I can't grind it off to make it look nice. I, I can grind off the other metal and try to take away from that to make something else look good, but that doesn't make sense. That's taking Peter to pay Paul, and I don't generally do that because then you have to pay Paul back. 625. 625 comments. Thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it. And uh, you keep coming back, and we'll keep, making, we'll keep making car content. And this is car content. You take from what you think you like and throw away what you don't like. Um, my way is not the only way. That's for damn sure. There's more than one way to skin a cat. There's different people do different things, different ways. And basically, what I'm, I know what I'm willing to do is I'm willing to show my, my triumphs and my failures. If you don't have recognized, I, I'm able to show both. I'm confident enough in my own brain that if I make a mistake, it does not matter because I know that no one's perfect. I, I realize that. And uh, I'm hoping that if you're working on old cars and you make a mistake, it, you have to realize that no one, el no one else is perfect either. So just keep going with it. Um, if you make a boo-boo, the faster you recover, the better you become. Sean Garage, Sean's Garage. I love watching and learning your techniques. I apply these techniques and wouldn't throw anything in the garbage. Well, thank you very much, Sean. That's quite funny how I just said that. And that come up as a comment, is it not? Um, but basically that's what you do in life that's what you do in the shop when you see something you like take it if you see something that you didn't like well then you make sure you do not do that and every time you do something it's called repeat 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 the better you do it or the more you do it the better you become and I can't wait to make another piece on the wheel because I found that yesterday I made that it took you know it took me an hour to, to sort of get that piece down on there and get myself satisfied yesterday it was like 15 minutes I knew exactly what I had to do to get it done and I was so happy with that because I know that that sometimes takes hours to get something to fit right. I know it does. And uh, I want to thank Sean for throwing in a comment. Um, I want to thank everybody for voting for Jolene for Jet Setter. It's not done yet. Believe me, it's not done yet. It's a long drawn out process. And um, keep with us. Keep with us. And Jolene, keep thanking if you keep voting. <laughs> See you tomorrow, everybody.